only one place like it in the Valley of the Sun. That intersection is Scottsdale Road and McDowell, but it doesn't look like it's the middle of a big city because it's a garden here at Sky Song. And <laughs> Justin Loner, listen, we're used to having you on our turf. That's right. But we're on yours now. W would you please explain to me and everybody else watching how this whole Sky Song garden concept started? Well, it's a beautiful way to get the best of the production that you can get in a farm right there closest to the place where you eat it, which is the restaurants. And so we brought this here, the developers here, the David Weta Group, they brought us here to, to create a beautiful edible garden that could be integrated right into the restaurants as they continue to grow here in the Sky Song space to be able to showcase not only what's available in the Valley of the Sun, but also to be able to taste it and be able to test it out. I mean, it's a beautiful place to come and see. So when you say farm to you, yeah. you're really serious about it. Uh, for example, this is the farm. This is the, the farm. The restaurants are right next, right next door. door. What are we taking over there? So we got some Sorrento thyme. They love using this, some of the drinks over there at Bitters. We got some edible flowers, some of the violas that are right in here, some kales that are integrated in a lot of the salads, uh, more chives, peppers. Uh, there's just so much wonderful things that we have growing around on this site, as well as we got the drinks that they have there. Again, they just infuse so many different tastes and flavors that you can only get from a garden this this amazing. Well, we were just talking to you about the fact that this is a unique place that you don't really expect to have, not necessarily in Scottsdale, at Scottsdale Road and McDowell, but perhaps anywhere in Southern Arizona. All this vegetation, it just doesn't look like desert, but, but then again, this doesn't really look like a place that would be sending these ingredients right next door to a place where eating and drinking is welcome. It's called Bitter, and she is called Danielle. Thank you, Pat. We're inside Bitters with Chef Bailey, and she's incorporated some of the wonderful vegetables that are grown in the garden outside by our good friend Justin Rohner into the menu here. So, Chef Bailey, I want to understand and get to know a little bit about the beauty that you've created on the menu. So tell me what you made. So this is our roasted veg plate. Uh, we have a parsnip puree, roasted carrots, candied fennel, and some roasted shallots with some watermelon radish. And then over here we have the kale salad with lemon vinaigrette, currants, almonds, and pecorino cheese. And then this is a fun popcorn we have. It's the honey hot popcorn. You said honey hot popcorn? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So this is a little heat when you eat this. Yeah. So there's arbol chilies in it um, with some pomegranates, some curry dust, and some crema. I love that. And we also have the bartender, which was our opening shot, which is fantastic because he also, too, his name is Mike, incorporates some of the vegetables inside the garden in the drink. So if you come on out here to Bitters, which is located at Sky Song, you will not be disappointed. How do you love making this um, menu? Did you have fun putting it together? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of room for I love that. Chef Bailey is the one to get to know here because she can whip up something delicious for you and incorporate that freshness from the garden because it is from the farm to the table. And here goes a wonderful drink. Look at this. Beautiful. Fresh basil from the garden. You can't go wrong. This is what we do on Arizona Daily Mix. We bring you community, lifestyle, and entertainment. And Chef Bailey, right here at Bitters Inside Sky Song.